Kiss. It is Kiss 92.5, Devo Brown, alongside, oh, it's time, Mr. Cheer, 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 cheer. Yo. Uh, ripping the T. Dotto everywhere he goes. You Ladies already and know. Forever 416. What up? Carter now. Oh, fish shell. What up, man? Yo, happy belated birthday, fam. Hey, I appreciate that. Thank uh, you so wait much. a minute. How come I wasn't invited to the party, though? You're always invited to the party. So crazy. Oh. Man, had the biggest <laughs> party in the city. I wasn't invited. Well, don't come back. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, I'm, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I wasn't even here anyway, so it's all good. <laughs> yeah. Was, you wouldn't have showed up. <laughs> you see? Did you was, see that, though? Yeah, the instant, the instant guilt. <laughs> you guilted me, and then I'm like, wait a minute. He would, I just want to say, I saved myself the disappointment. You would have showed up. <laughs> I would have. If you were in the city. I would have. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, let's talk about this, man. You got a new single. Baby, it's you. Shout out to everybody that's been showing mad love on the single. Like, the dope thing is that people, you know, when whenever I put out a new song, people are like, oh, Cardi, you know, I like the song, whatever, mm-hmm. whatever. But this song, I think the timing, the time of year, like, it's so much a summer joint. Yeah. People been hearing the song. They've really been loving it. Yo, keep shouting me out at Cardinal O on the gram at Cardinal O. I, I really, really, really appreciate it. I love it because, like, I produced this joint. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I wrote the joint. You know, shout out to everybody that helped me. My man, um, Midnight Hollywood P, who helped put some extra sprinkles on there. You know what I'm saying? And my man, um, Chase on co wrote the hook. But we put this joint together, and it's like, this song just feels so amazing this summer. Every time I hear it, you know what I'm saying? Like, as it soon is. as that beat yeah. drops, yeah. it just feels so right now. So shout out to everybody that's loving it. It's in stores now, too. You can go to MrCardinal.com, and that will bring you straight to, you know, the iTunes, mm-hmm. Spotify, uh, wherever you need to go, you know what I'm saying, and, and buy it and do whatever. But it's what keep I did this tuning weekend. in, keep requesting. Oh, I appreciate Grabbed it. Grabbed it right there, man. Song is so up. great. And it's what you said. Because even as you're talking about it, you're smiling. Yeah. And that's the kind of song it is. It just makes you here's smile. A, here, so here's the thing. Mm-hmm. Like, I like to turn up like the rest of them, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes, like, it's so boring. Everything's so slow, yeah. down tempo. We need something, you know what I mean? Something to, like... Uh, literally bring us up, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? And shout out to The weekend. Like, I love the fact that he did an up-tempo. That's so dope, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Can't feel my face. So good, dude. But that's what it's all about. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes when, you know, when music is going to the right, you got to go left, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes when it's left, you got to go right and make it feel right. And that's what Baby It's You is all about. But that's what you've done over your entire career. I was talking to somebody this morning. I said, the one thing I can say about Cardi, I've been doing radio just over 10 years. Mm-hmm. Every year of my career, I've had a Cardi song on the radio to talk about. Word, that's a blessing, yo. Yeah, How do you keep doing up. it, though? Like, you, you, you know what, because this it, is what, still but, stay the same. But this is what wakes me up in the, in the morning, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? It's like, some people that are in the music industry, like, no judgment, but mm-hmm. not everybody is really a musician. Some people did other things in right. life right. and use music as a vehicle to get them out of a certain situation. Mm-hmm. But... Some people, if you gave them $10 million, they're not doing music ever again. Yeah. The thing, the difference between me and and some artists or some people in general is it's like when I had zero cents in my pocket, this is what I was doing. Never mind zero cents. Like when I was like negative (laughs) 50,000, like, you know what I'm saying? This is what I was doing. When I was successful and, and, you know, we'd wake up in Romania, Mm -hmm. music's the first thing I'm thinking about. Like I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't. Um, I don't smoke. I drink sometimes, you know what I mean? But it's like music that's really like what fuels me and gets me up and makes me, you know what I mean, feel amazing. And there's so many different things you can do through music, like mm-hmm. through the power of music. I mean, you, you know, you guys have always been big supporters of when I ever, whenever I come around Christmas time. Of course. For my initiative. Cardi Christmas party and everything, um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, my work with the kids. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, through music, I'm able to take... Um, 10 kids from, you know, the inner city around the GTA and we're going to Kenya again that's amazing. in August. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's all through the power of music. Like, the power of music has allowed me to go to some of the places I never thought I'd see and meet some of the people I never thought I'd meet ever in life. And that's why I say, like, you've been able to evolve musically, but you're still the same in that sense. Right. It's always been about you and people. I've not yet met a person that had anything negative to say about you. Word. And you know um, it's well, easy for well, people to good. say bad things, right? And it's true. Mm-hmm. I mean, he, hey, listen. It's like when you have a certain perspective, um, people are like, oh, man, it must get annoying, like meeting people yeah. or this or that. And I'm like, yo, to be honest with you, when people aren't checking for you, that's when your career is not yeah. going well. Right. My whole thing is as long as there's no disrespect, mm-hmm. I'm good. Like as long as nobody approaches me in a disrespectful manner, yeah. I'm good. Because it's like I approach everybody you know what I'm saying? With love and peace because that's really what's in my heart. And it's like I enjoy and I feel every single day that I'm able to do this. Shout out to everybody holding it down in the offices and all the <laughs> rest of that stuff that keeps the world going. 
But it's like, for me, it's so amazing to be able to like wake up and I get to come and hang out with you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And, and rock out with you and play some music and, and, and freak you out. You know what I mean? With the sub pack yes. and all that other yes. crazy we'll get stuff. Yeah, we'll to that in a set for sure. Yeah, but, but that's, you know what I mean? That's, that's what I love. And they say that, you know, uh, I'll, I'm going to butcher it, but, mm -hmm. you know, um, do something that you love. You never work a day in your right, life. Right, and right, that's, right. You know, it is hard work, but at the end of the day, when it's something that you love, you don't mind it, you know? Yes.